Hello, Mario's 2019 Engineering Maths Weekly Quiz 3 Review. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Weekly Quiz 3. And we'll have a bit of a look at this one and some model answers. Um, if you've got any questions, put it in the comments below the video or catch up with me, Ken or Joseph, the formidable, formidable maths team uh, in class or around campus sometimes. So let's get straight. Okay, so let's have a look. First of all, uh, let's just uh, set up our model answers here. So this is Stu Ideal. So always pays to get your name on the paper, usually in the uh, in the time at the beginning of the paper before the official time starts. And circle your Truda. So Mario, there we go. Okay, so looking at this one here, I always have established in my mind um, this pattern, and it is log to the base 10 of 100 equals 2. And also, I know that 10 squared equals 100. So what I can tell from that is the, the pattern. Um, also, um, if I forget that, it's on my formula sheet, but it's also, if you look here, um, uh, here, on the um, on the calculator, I'll just make that a bit bigger. Zoom three. There we go, and just bring our calculator in here. If you look down here on the uh, log key, which is there, you'll see you've got log there and ten to the power of something there. So that that gives you a bit of a clue as to how they're related. Um, there like that. So I'm using that pattern and then what I can say, well, uh, let me see here. Now that must mean that X which in my pattern here is in the place of 100 so that would be there, 100 equals and you can see there 7 to the power of of 3.56 just using the same pattern so it's um, x equals 7 to the power of 3.56 so now we can work out what x is by just uh, going here to the uh, calculator and so we go uh, 7, so x to the power of button here, and so we can uh, just flick back to there, and we can put in there 7, and then flick up to there, 3.56, 3.56. Equals, and we get 109, so we've got that there. 1019. Now, I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping the calculator on top here. Um, oh. Uh, I'll have to. Uh, oh, I wonder if I can. Uh, I have to do that again. Um, can I do that? Replay. Oh, yeah. 1019.87.880. 
point eight eight oh let's just bring that up again to check it and uh, put that in there eight eight zero and that would be three decimal places rounded to three decimal places and there we go that's that one done okay so let's uh move down to the next one all right solve for x this one here so what we do here is we take the log of both sides so let's uh let's do that so we get oops it's not what we want why is it moving around like that um we need to just get that moving up there like that and then we can take the log log of both sides so if we go log 5 to the power of 3x plus 4 equals log 13.17 okay so then we can say right 5 oh we'll just uh, get that there so then we can use our log, rule of logs and we can say 3x plus 4 log 5 equals log 13.17 all right and then we can divide through both sides by log 5 um, so I'll just write up here in green what I did oops Uh, let's uh, undo that okay yeah we're all good to go so that's uh, log both sides and then down here we took the log of um, we divided through uh, we divided through by um, dividing by log five so uh, we need to go to here. And then straight away we can see that these ones here cancel out. And so we get um, oops. Oh, oh, hang on. Divide by log five. Oh, I went too far there. Okay, 
Right, now we get the red pen going here, and then we can say, right, 3x plus 4 equals log 13.17. Over, oops, log five. All right, so now we've got to take negative four, negative four, and this remember that this is off both sides, so that's um, these are off both sides. Okay, negative 4, and we'll do a second one, we'll a uh, negative 4, and um, we'll also um, divide by 3. Okay, so... Um, Oh, no, oh, perhaps I'll leave that for a second one. So we'll undo that. Okay, so now we've got uh, 3x plus 4. A 3x equals log 13.17 over log 5. minus 4 and now we'll um, divide by negative 3 oh sorry divide by 3 where did I get that from divide by 3 so that would involve um, let's put that there a 3 there and a 3 there. So what we're going to end up with then is um, over here we're going to end up with oops we're going to end up with x equals log 13.17 over log 5 minus 4 and I'm going to put that in the big bracket like that And then that's all going to be over 3. And that equals. Okay, so let's get our calculator here. We'll bring our calculator over to here. Okay, so let's do that. So, uh, let's just clear everything. And... Um, well, we'll put a um, that one there, and then that one there. So we've got log thirteen point one seven log um, thirteen point one seven. Um, 
bracket over oh, log five. Okay, close the bracket. Uh, minus four. Pretty sure that how it all works. Minus four. And then all over three equals minus zero point seven nine nine four. I'm just going to put that over on my second screen here where I can read it, but um, I'm going to write it in here. Minus 0 0.7 4 and that will be four decimal places. Okay. That's our answer. And just to check that out. Okay, so what have we got here? Um, Alright, so let's go all clear. So it's minus 7.994. So let's just go here, 5. Um, so let's go here. Uh, so that'll be 5. To the power of uh, up here just to check our answer 5 to the power of 3 times negative 0 0.7994 Okay, so we'll put that, uh, just come back on that there, put that in the bracket. And uh, minus four, uh, plus four. And, well, the answer should be 13.17. Bingo. We're good. So that's that one done. Number two. Okay. A rectangle has sides x minus three. And here it is here. A rectangle has sines x minus three and x plus five. Find the value of x if the area is 48 square units. So um, we know that we've got x minus 3 and x plus 5 so they're the sides so we know that area of rectangles length times breadth so if we multiply them together we should get 48 Okay, so now we expand those, that there, and that there, times that there, times that there, okay, x times x, oh, is x squared, x times 5, 5x, plus uh, negative 3x, and here we get negative 15, equals 48, so bringing that all together, 
we get x squared plus 5x minus 3x minus 15 equals 48. So um, we'll collect our terms here and we'll uh, subtract 48 from this um, right hand side here and that'll that'll uh, give us um, that'll give us x squared plus 2x uh, minus 63 equals 0. And so we could factorize this. Let's just uh, have a look. So here uh, we've got 1, oh, Here we've got 1 times 63, 3 times 21, and 7 times 9 factors of 63. We're looking for factors of 63 that have a difference of 2. So I think we can factorize this here so that it now is x plus 9 x minus 7 equals 0. And let's see, x squared plus 9x minus 7x is 2x, 63. So, either x plus 9 equals 0, because one of these two factors here must be 0, x plus 9 equals 0, and x equals negative 9, but uh, that's not possible. You can't have a negative length of your rectangle. x can't be a negative value, it must be positive. So um, that can't be true. At, or, oh, God. I'm getting better. It's been a while since I've used this. Or, x minus 7 equals 0. And, x equals 7, which is true. Find the value of x. So x equals 7 uh, units squared. 7 units, sorry, not units squared. And just a quick check in here, x minus 3. So if 7 is, um, X is 7, 7 minus 3 is 4, 7 plus 5 is 12, 4 12s are 48. So we're all good to go. Okay, so that's three questions done. And um, yes, we're taking a little bit of time here. How long have we been going? 24 minutes? Oh, that's not too bad. 
Okay, so now we're going to look at the the second page. Okay, let's have a look at this one here. And uh, let's first of all uh, get our red pen out. And well, let's have a look at our pattern that I've talked about before. 10 squared equals 100. Remember that this should be on your formula sheet or something like this that will enable you to do. And then we can go log to the base 10, 100 equals 2. Right, so if we go here and we can see that um, um, we're looking at the pattern, 10 to the power of negative 1, so we could strip, go 10 to the power of negative 1, equals r over 6.13 okay and then we can straight away we can uh, 10 to the power of negative 1 is actually 1 over 10 um, or, or it's um, yeah well point one, um 10, 10 to the negative 1 is 0 0.01. So um, what we can there, we can go from there, we can ascertain that R equals 6.13 times 10 to the negative 1, which equals zero all we have to do is move the decimal point across one zero point six one three and that's all pretty simple that one i think so yeah we can okay so here we have the final question in the test it's a simultaneous equation. So here it is. We've got all our pens all ready to go. So um, we've got, let's have a look here, x plus 2y and 2x minus y. Okay, well, if I multiply that y by 2, that's going to come out of there. So I'm going to, I'm just going to, um, well, I'll call this here equation 1. Well, that's not what I want to do. I'm going to call this uh, here equation one. And this here equation two. So I'm just going to multiply equation two by two. And I'm going to leave equation one how it is. So I've got x plus 2y equals 3. And then I've got 2 times 2x is 4x. Minus 2y equals negative 8. Okay, so I add them together, I get 5x. I've eliminated the y's. And I've got 3 minus 8 is negative 5. So now I'm going to um, divide through... Oh. I'm going to divide through by 5. And so I get uh, x. Um, oh, I'll put that up there like that.
We'll go through there by five. Go through there by five. So we get x equals negative one. Okay. And that's that's one part of the equation done. And so um, substitute x in equation one. In equation one. So we've got x, which is negative one. Plus 2y equals 3. Okay, um, so then we're going to uh, add 1 to both sides. So we get... Um, 2y equals 4. We'll divide through by um, divide through by 2 and 2 and 2. And so we get uh, y equals 2. x equals negative 1, y equals 2. Let's just check that here. 2x uh, is negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. So that's pretty good. And uh, x plus 2y, well, we've just done that. So there we go. So that's um, all of the questions done and reviewed. So let's, um, that uh, concludes um, the review of quiz three. I've done that using Smooth Draw 4. It's a free program and a Wacom tablet. Um, I'm a little slow on it, but I think it helps to show the process, so um, you can always speed it up and go through it, and it's possibly quite helpful um, in regards to uh, getting everything sorted. You know, you can go to the bits that you've got problems with. So if you have any problems or any questions, uh, put them in the comments below the video. Um, yeah, and... Uh, all good.